What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Before this video starts, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video from me. Um, in today's video, I wanted to uh, talk about the trick we're doing. I got a request um, in my last video from CardMagic99 saying, do an intermediate card trick using the Ace of Spades through Four of Spades. So, um, I do want to say, if you ever request a trick, unless you give me the specific name or the specific trick you want to do, I'm going to do my best to, you know, do it and teach it. But if you give me, like, a type of trick you want me to do, an intermediate trick using the Ace of Spades or Four of Spades, I'm going to give you the best I got. If, um, this trick, I really, it's, it uses the Ace of Spades through Four of Spades, but uh, it's more of an Ace production, still using the Four through Ace of Spades. And, um... It's not exactly intermediate, it kind of is, like, I'll show you the easy way, and then I'll show you the kind of more intermediate way. But, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing, and one more thing before this video starts, uh, April 22nd will be one year, um, since I've started this channel, so that's, a, you know, that's a, not long, but, you know, it's pretty good, this is the longest I've kept a channel up, so, we're going to, um, do, I want to do something for that. I had a request on my channel Instagram, which if you don't follow it, it's right here. You can follow it, or it'll be in the description so you can follow my channel Instagram. But basically, uh, I asked you guys what you want me to do. I got a few answers, and one of the answers uh, was like a giveaway, or like a new logo or something. Uh, new logo, maybe. Giveaway, probably not a giveaway, because um, with this coronavirus going around, you know, that's, I would, I'm, you know, I'm in public a lot because of my job. So I, if I got it and handled the cards, I'd be giving it to whoever I gave it to. So probably not a giveaway, but um, I want to do something. Write down in the comments what you want me to do, and I will think of something. And with that, let's get straight into this card trick. I will stop talking. So I would start off by pulling the cards out of the box and uh, giving the cards a quick shuffle just to show you that these cards really are mixed up and in no particular um, order. So go ahead and give them a few cuts. It really doesn't matter. Alright, awesome. So now what I would do is now that the cards are shuffled, I would ask my spectator just to call it stop whenever they want to. Stop right there, perfect, just like that. And we're going to lay uh, these cards right here. I'm holding the cards in my hand. And I'll just want, ask my spectator to cut about half the cards right here, okay? And they would cut about half the cards, let's say right there, perfect. And now I'm going to cut about half the cards from my pot. Okay, now check this out. Snap my fingers just like that. Boom two aces just like that and check this out another ace just like that one more time the final ace of spades so that's the four of spades well maybe that's just an indication card that means four of spades three of spades two of spades ace of spades that was the trick guys pretty quick and let's just go ahead and learn how to do it real quick Okay guys, so here's the tutorial. As you can see, it's really not that difficult of a trick, and it's done in like under a minute. It's a really quick trick. So, um, basically all you're gonna need to do is get out a random deck of cards. It really doesn't matter what you're using. And, uh, get out the four, three, two, ace of spades, and then the other three aces, okay? And you're gonna, you don't really need the box, but it's better to use it, and you'll see why in a second. Um, what you're gonna do is you're going, this is your setup. You're going to take the four, three, two, ace of spades, and that's going to go on top of the deck. You're going to take the other three aces. It really doesn't matter what their order is, and they're going to go on top of the deck just like that. That is your setup, and all this is going to go in the box. So once your cards are in the box, you're basically just going to start by taking them out, laying the box to the side, and saying, I will shuffle the cards. Okay, so you're going to shuffle the cards. Obviously, you can do it like a false overhand shuffle, just don't shuffle the top. You can do a riffle shuffle, just don't, you know leave like a big chunk on top just like that and um the last thing i wouldn't recommend doing any false cuts because you're going to be kind of doing some cuts here in a second this is the intermediate way doing the cuts part is kind of what makes this a difficult you know a little more difficult you're going to pinky count one two cards just like that which would be the top two aces and you're going to hold a pinky break just like that you're going to transfer that to a thumb break index finger is going to pull down on about half the cards swivel them just like that and catch them in this hand just like that so you're about swiveling cutting about half the cards now you're going to come to this break you have right here swivel cut just those two cards and then place the rest on top and catch your break that's a cool way to do it you can just dribble on top uh you dribble leave some out jogged and or yeah in jogged i mean and uh push just like that and catch a 
piggy break, pushing in and up, catching the piggy break, or you could just simply lay on top of it. It doesn't really matter what you want to do. And what that does is that basically has you have two aces here, you're holding a break above, and you have an ace, and then the four, three, two, and ace of spades right here on the top. So obviously before you go and do this trick, you could already just have this set up and walk up to somebody holding that break, and that would be the easy way to do it. Or you can do it this way, and that's how you do it. Or you could go ahead and just take them out of the box and just simply use some misdirection and slip jog the two in the middle and catch your break. Do whatever you want. There's a few ways you can do it, but as long as you have two aces here in the middle, holding a break above it with another ace, and then the four, three, two, and ace of spades right here on top. So once you've got that set up, what you're going to do is you're going to do something called the riffle force. If you don't know what the riffle force is, I will leave a link in the description where you can learn it, okay? So basically what you're going to do is you're going to force um, these two aces right here. So you're going to riffle down with your thumb, and you're going to say call it stop whenever you want. And it doesn't matter where they say stop, you're going to pick up at the break. The best way to do this is after they say stop, just simply push down and pick up just like that, okay? And it looks like you're literally calling out stop wherever they said stop. You're going to lay this top half. Look, Notice how my mat is. I have this mat here, and you're laying it kind of diagonal to the mat. You're facing this top corner. Okay, and that's kind of how you want to lay it, and you're going to tell them to cut about half the cards, and you're going to indicate, you're going to point like this, indicating that you want them to cut about half the cards. You need them to cut more than five cards, because that's your five card, you have, you know, your five card, one, two, three, four, you have your five card stack here. If they cut like three cards to try and mess you up, then, you know, that's not what you want, so tell them to cut about half the cards, and you'll be fine. Tell, and again, indicate like this so they know to put it right here, kind of making like a straight line like this, so they cut... And you're going to say, now I'm going to cut. Obviously, you know to cut about half the cards, and you're going to lay it right here, kind of keeping this straight line going. And now what you're going to do, this is your predicament. You're holding these cards. It just has a random card on top. This middle packet only has a random card on top. This packet has two aces on top, just like that, okay? And this one has an ace and the four, three, two, and ace of spades. So what you're going to do is you're going to reach for this bottom half with this packet that you're holding the cards in, reach for this bottom packet, and then this right hand, your other hand, is going to um, reach for this card. And you're basically going to, f at the same time, flip them over. Okay? When you flip them over, you're, when you grab this one, you're grabbing it, and you're just kind of pulling it onto this packet. You're taking this one off the top and flipping it over and putting it on this middle packet. Okay? So what that does, you know, fix the thing here. What that does is... Um, when you flip it over, their mind automatically thinks he flipped over the ace from this pile, he flipped over the ace from this pile, even though you flipped it over from these two piles. That'll just kind of, you know, it's a psychological thing. They're not going to question it. And now you're going to lay this down, kind of right beside this one, and you're going to flip this ace over and say, look, we have another ace. Now you're going to pick up this last pile and put it in your hand and hold it in mechanics grip. If you don't know what that is, it's basically just um, middle finger, ring finger, pinky on this side, thumb on this side, and your index finger on the top here, Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to basically just kind of flick this card off, saying, like, in our final card, the ace... Whoa. Our final card, the ace of spades, you're going to flip it over, and it's going to be a four. You're going to be like, oh, well, maybe that's just an indicator. Flick off. you got your three, your two, and finally your ace of spades. Uh, after that, I just like to pick up the four aces, and that's basically just an ace production, meaning this isn't exactly a trick. Like, if you wanted to do, like, a twisting the aces type of style trick, that's a good way to just get the aces in a cool, magical way real quick. If you want to learn a cool twisting the aces trick, I'll leave a link in the description where you can learn it. But, yeah, that is basically the trick, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, Card Magic 99 I hope this is uh, the type of trick you want to go uh, check out his channel if you guys want to. And uh, with that, that's basically it. Again, remember, we have one, coming up on one year of my channel. What do you want me to do for the one year special? And uh, basically with that, yeah, that's the end of this video. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.